Hello and welcome to this week's News Bulletin Roundup. I'm Julia Cosby and these are the headlines. 93 potential human burial sites were identified near a former BC residential school. A Canadian Conservative Party riding association passed a motion for the leadership review of party leader Aaron O'Toole. 39 people are missing near Florida's coast after a boat capsizes. A Taliban dress code campaign sparks controversy in Afghanistan. Omicron subvariants continue to be closely monitored. British Prime Minister refuses to step down amidst Partygate scandal. Canada urges families families of Ukrainian diplomats to leave the country amidst rising tensions with Russia. Russia threatens to retaliate if U.S. and allies do not meet its demands. To begin in British Columbia, 93 potential human burial sites have been discovered near St. Joseph's Mission Residential School. The residential school opened in 1891 and closed in 1981. Many children belonging to the Williams Lake First Nations were sent there. Gruesome reports from the First Nations investigation has revealed stories of disappearances, tortures, murders, and starvation. Even more children at the school were reportedly lashed at while tied to boards, and babies born to Indigenous children who were raped by priests were tossed into the school's incinerator. These stories were reportedly covered up by the church's authorities, government, and police. The findings at St. Joseph's represents one of many recent discoveries that has forced Canadians to face the violent history of the residential school system in the nation. In other Canadian news, the Foothills Electoral District CDA Association in Alberta has passed a motion calling for a leadership review of Conservative Party leader Erin O'Toole no later than June 15th. It is unclear if similar petitions will arise in other ridings soon. This motion has been passed ahead of the pre-parliament meeting among Conservative MPs that will discuss why Erin O'Toole's 2021 electoral campaign failed. The Conservative Party president, however, told Global News that while the National Council would soon respond to the Foothills Electoral District in 2020, a nearly unanimous decision was made to hold the leadership review in August of 2023. Turning now to Florida, 39 people have gone missing after a boat capsized. A single survivor was rescued by a civilian. According to the survivor, extreme weather had caused the boat en route to Florida from the Bahamas to capsize. None of the missing people are wearing life jackets, and the survivor has been hospitalized. According to the Coast Guard, this is a suspected case of human smuggling. In fact, migrants have routinely used this dangerous route through the Bahamas as a means to enter Florida. In Afghanistan, the Taliban has begun a poster campaign urging women to wear a burqa or hijab, while the Afghan Ministry for Promotion of Virtue and Prevention of Vice has begun to plaster the posters across Kabul, reminding women that under the Sharia, that they must observe the hijab, they have not been issued an official directive. This means that women cannot be forced to wear hijab nor punished for not wearing one. Nonetheless, some women have reported that the Taliban soldiers in some parts of the nation are trying to enforce this dress code. Furthermore, critics of this campaign have argued that the Taliban is misguided in its priorities. Particularly while the majority of women already wear a hijab, the nation is in the midst of a deep economic crisis that has left many families struggling to gain access to food. Others, however, have condemned the Taliban for infringing on the liberty of women to decide their attire. In other news, Omicron subvariant BA2 continues to spread in certain regions of the world. Specifically, the subvariant has been on the rise in countries including the Philippines, India, Denmark, and South Africa. Denmark, for instance, has recently reported a spike in BA2 infections. The surge has accounted for almost half of all Omicron cases in the country. Although experts around the globe continue to keep a watch on Omicron and all of its subvariants, they have also urged people not to worry. This is because BA2 is expected to be relatively mild. Turning now to the UK, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson refuses to step down in the wake of the Partygate scandal. Johnson is currently under police investigation regarding multiple parties thrown by the Prime Minister and his staff that defied COVID-19 government restrictions during the nation's first lockdown in 2020. These allegations not only caused public anger, but have also resulted in turmoil within the Conservative Party itself. Johnson is urging the public to wait until the investigation by a senior civil servant is concluded to make their final judgments. 
Mr Speaker. What I can tell him is that we've got to leave the report to the independent uh, investigator, as he knows. Uh, and of course, uh, when I receive it, I, of course I will do exactly. In other world news, Canada has ordered the family members of their embassy staff to leave the Ukraine as the country faces a looming invasion from Russia. A similar decision was recently made by the U.S. and Britain. Specifically, the U.S. State Department has ordered all families related to the Ukraine embassy personnel to leave the country. Meanwhile, Britain stated that they will pull some of their diplomats from Ukraine as tensions continue to rise. Relatedly, Russia has threatened to retaliate if the U.S. and its allies fail to meet its NATO and Ukraine demands. Specifically, Russia has demanded that NATO agrees to never admitting the Ukraine or ex-Soviet nations as members in their alliance. The Russian foreign minister says that Russia will determine its next steps once the United States sends a written response to its demands. Furthermore, the minister says that it will not engage in continuous discussions and that if the West continues to be aggressive, Russia will retaliate. Thank you for watching the News Bulletin Roundup at Inc. TV. I'm your host, Julia Cosby. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications to stay up to date on all of our future videos.